Today I have a special guest with me, Dr. Deepen Sinha. What more? How do I introduce him to you? He's a he's a scientist. He's an entrepreneur. He's a social worker. He runs a charity, and much more. Without further ado, right now we are going live on Tarang Online Radio. We are going live on Tarang Devotional. We are live on Facebook Live, and we are also live on YouTube. And we are canning this wonderful interview in our studio in Delhi of Vision Television. Dr. Sinha, welcome to Vision Television, and also we are going live on Vision uh, Tarang Online Radio and Tarang Devotional Radio and on Facebook. Thank you so much, Pranav. Thanks for having me. I'm really pleased to be here with your talented team. It's such a wonderful. How do I begin? You, Dr. Sinha, began. Uh, his did he did his engineering in India at IIT Kharagpur. Then he did his masters in US and then went on to do his PhD. He went on to work with AT and T, then move then the company spin off and then he worked for Bell Labs and Lucent. And then the most amazing thing happened to him in in what you call in when when he set up two thousand three two thousand three yeah. when he set up. ATC. ATC is generally understood to be air traffic control, but never mind. This ATC is even beyond that. Tell right. us how ATC happened, sir. So it is actually uh, the full name is ATC Labs. So this has been uh, in some way a continuation of my work at Bell Labs. I, I worked in audio technology research for several years, and around 2003, when the company was going through some transition, I thought that instead of doing another job, maybe I want to. Really explore my uh, future vision and my dreams, and pursue setting up my own company that will give me one uh, flexibility to do uh, the things that I want, and also uh, eventually it ended up giving the flexibility that I wanted in terms of traveling back and forth between India and US. Uh, many years ago, I had said that my ideal life is that I spend two two week in US and two week in India, and in some way this company is allowing me to almost do do that. And you are saving few. What do you call sunlight time? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> maybe daylight, twelve hours daylight time. daylight time. Maybe daylight time. you're saving few daylight time right. as well right. while you travel from India to US yes. or the other way around. Right. Right. Yeah. You started this company in 1993. Uh, two two thousand two thousand three. Sorry, I, I beg your pardon. You started right. this company in two thousand three. Right. Right. And before that, you have been in the US and you have already. Almost twenty patents or cup patents. Yeah, actually, which about twenty-eight uh, right now. Yeah, amazing, Apart amazing. How has been that journey from IIT Kharagpur to 20, 28, 29 patent that you have applied for, or you are in the process of getting? Yeah. Right, it has been a, a a wonderful journey. I mean, uh, I I I feel I've been truly lucky and blessed in in terms of some of the breaks I've gotten, but also. Uh, the what it has boiled down to is trying to pursue uh, a vision i mean what what uh, you need to have a vision for your life and you need to pursue that so i always when i when i was working with bell labs i always thought that i'll end up doing this thing setting up a company uh, that will allow me to do my research work on one side and also do some of the social work that i wanted to do and also in terms of reconnecting back with india so so that's how the atc labs evolved and uh, it has uh, uh, the, uh, in this, we do some very cutting-edge audio and video technology research work, including in the Noida Center that we have set up in India. A lot of uh, U.S. companies come here and do like what's called body shopping, that you hire engineers to implement some software or optimize software. But we actually do a lot of research and development in India because the talent exists here and, of course, also in U.S., so the team that is here ends up doing the cutting edge research that it should do because the people have the talent to do that. So that's the vision of ATC Labs, that we go from core research all the way to final products. If I may recall a name, Dr. Bose, right. you are also working on sound technology. You're, I mean, right. The jargons are too right. big, high sounding to, to memorize and to know about them, but they are really very cutting edge technology as you have said. Right. Do we see another Dr. Bose in terms of Dr. Dipen Sena uh, with twenty already twenty patent in his name? 
Well, I wouldn't have the temerity to suggest that I'm anywhere <laughs> close to Dr. Bose. I mean, he's truly a giant in the field of audio. But of course, he, he's somebody we all take uh, inspiration from. And we all bow our head in front of him. So maybe uh, if I can achieve uh, a fraction of that, maybe I'll be, I'll be happy in terms of what I can contribute to the audio technology and the audio field. So. How has been, I mean, somebody who went from India, who studied in IIT Kharagpur, and went and did wonders in in United States of America. How has been this journey for you as an individual, apart from the successes and the study and the and the professional successes that you achieved? So it has certainly truly been very rewarding, and I really and am indebted to two countries: uh, the support the, and education that I received in India, as well as the support and opportunities I received in the U.S. So. So if somebody asks me where your loyalty lies, I always like to describe myself as somebody having split loyalties in, in a good way that I actually mean well for both the countries, both uh, US and India. Uh, India is of course my uh, motherland and this is where I got my breakthrough. Uh, I mean the poor taxpayers of India really paid for my education at IIT back in uh, 1986 when I graduated from IIT Kharagpur. The tuition was like 200 rupees a year, not, not even a month. So getting a world class education for 200 rupees a year, uh, you can see the kind of sacrifices that the, the taxpayer or the public of India made to make my education possible. And then when I went to the US, I kept on getting the support from one mentor after another and the breakthroughs in, uh, in my university and also, also in Bell Labs. The research mentors, they really uh, uh, helped me move forward and uh, realize my potential. So I feel that I have really gotten a lot from these two societies and two great nations. And in fact, last several years, the two countries are coming together. So that gives a lot of pleasure to a person like me that we, have, we've, we are connected to both these, uh, our motherland India as well as uh, US. So, so as an individual, it has been uh, rewarding and challenging. There have been a lot of challenges. I'm not saying it has been without challenges, but over time, it has really shaped me the two country experience and I, I feel it has made me a better person in many it's ways. such a wonderful feeling when yeah. you when you express your sensitivity towards right. the 200 rupees when you had to ah. pay for your education right and the subsidy that government is uh, right. paying for the, all the iits right. and you still remember at this right. uh, that is advanced stage uh, right. at the at this uh, very senior right. level Right. And, the, and the mentoring that happened in USA right, when right. you were with Bell Labs. Bell Labs, right. everybody knows on the earth that right. this is the place. If right. you want to do cutting edge technology research, right. this is the place. And right. How right. has been your journey during the Bell Lab days? So it was excellent. I was uh, really uh, lucky to work with some uh, truly great people. For example, the, the co-researchers in the field of uh, audio and speech, uh, people like uh, uh, Nikhil Jain, Vishnu Atal, who are of Indian origin but who are at Bell Labs, and also uh, true giants in the software area like uh, uh, Ken Thompson, who was the inventor of Unix. And uh, I, you, you walk in the hallway and you run across somebody who, for example, invented the C language or who was the pioneer of uh, speech recognition. So working with some, some of these truly great researchers that really opened my mind and challenged me to do some of the work uh, that, that I ended up doing. And also uh, giving me a feeling that we need to be innovative to always be full of new ideas as we progress through our career. It does not matter if you have worked 20, 10 years, 20 years or 30 years, uh, since, uh, be careful about that, be sensitive. Aap sun rahe hain. Tarang online radio pe is waqt hum live ja rahe hain. Tarang devotional radio pe is waqt hum live hain. Aap hamare vision television studio mein aap hum sun rahe hain. डॉक्टर दीपेन सिन्हा जी को और हम फेसबुक पे भी लाइव हैं और यूट्यूब पे भी लाइव हैं डॉक्टर दीपेन सिन्हा आपकी जिंदगी गोंडा यूपी के एक कस्बे गोंडा से शुरू हुई डिस्ट्रिक्ट है आज राइट वहाँ से एक आपकी क्या यादें हैं आप ऐसा बताया जा रहा है कि आप हमेशा कोशिश करते हैं जब भी आपको वक्त मिलता हाँ। है आप गोंडा में आ, जाते हैं और वहाँ एक चैरिटी भी चलाने की आप एक मुहिम आपने शुरू की और बहुत सारे लोग आपसे बहुत प्रभावित हो रहे हैं नहीं तो गोंडा से तो हमारा हमेशा से बहुत ही प्रेम रहा है वहीं से हमारी लाइफ शुरू हुई एंड लाइक वहाँ के गवर्नमेंट इंटर कॉलेज से जहाँ से मैं ट्वेल्थ किया 
इनफैक्ट जब हम वहाँ आईटी गए थे 1980s में तो उस उस साल गोंडा डिस्ट्रिक्ट से कई साल तक कोई भी आईटी में सेलेक्टेड नहीं हुआ था स्टूडेंट तो जब हमें वो अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली आईटी जाने की तो उसके लिए हम गोंडा के लोगों को बहुत ही और अपने पेरेंट्स को के बहुत ही आभारी हैं तो हमें हमेशा जब भी यूएस में थे तो ये आइडिया था कि हमें वापस रिकनेक्ट होना है बीच में कुछ समय ऐसा आया जब हम दो तीन साल तक वापस नहीं आ पाते थे जब हमने अपना करियर शुरू किया था तो धीरे धीरे फिर एक बार एटीसी टी लैब स्टार्ट किया तो यहाँ इंडिया में जब डेवलपमेंट सेंटर स्टार्ट किया तो दैट गेव मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रिकनेक्ट विद गोंडा तो गोंडा में समय अभी हमारा काफ़ी काम चल रहा है वो हमारे फादर की स्मृति में आनंद सिन्हा फाउंडेशन चैरिटी शुरू की है जो उनके विलेज से पहले काम शुरू करके काफ़ी अच्छे अच्छे काम कर रही है जैसे टॉयलेट सभी उस विलेज में जहाँ ऑलमोस्ट जीरो टॉयलेट से अभी करीब 25 परसेंट फैमिलीज के पास टॉयलेट हो गए हैं इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन हो गया है जिन जो गरीब हैं जिनके घर नहीं हैं घर बन रहे हैं उनके मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट का और उनके ट्रेनिंग का तो वो वो सब काम हम लोग वहाँ करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और अब एक काम अभी रिसेंटली और शुरू किया कि गोंडा में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हमारे गाँव में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट की बहुत प्रॉब्लम थी तो एक इंडस्ट्रियल यूनिट भी हमने वहीं शुरू किया है ऑलमोस्ट प्रॉफिट के लिए नहीं बट उसको जो एक बहुत अग्रेरियन एरिया है उसको इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया में कन्वर्ट करने के लिए तो वो एक प्रयास भी चल रहा है तो फाउंडेशन का काम उसके साथ ये जो हमने अपनी फैक्ट्री की एक सब्सिडी स्टार्ट की है नौबस्ता इंडस्ट्रियल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एन जो नौबस्ता इज द नेम ऑफ द विलेज तो वो यहाँ पे वो काम भी कर रही है आप सुन रहे हैं तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो और हम लाइव इस वक्त हैं तरंग डिवोशनल रेडियो पे भी यू कैन रीच एस बाई फोन एट नाइन वन एट जीरो सेवन सिक्स फाइव वन फाइव नाइन सेवन एट लॉग ऑन टू आर वेबसाइट एट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट पी एम आई पी एल डॉट इन एंड क्लिक तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो एंड तरंग डिवोशनल रेडियो यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड आर ऐप फ्रॉम गूगल ऐप प्ले स्टोर If you have an Android phone, you can listen to Tarang Online Radio and Tarang Devotional Radio. And we are canning this wonderful interview with Dr. Dipen Sinan. <laughs>